All right, so let's go ahead and try this more, more. Play four copies and then eight copies of mass production in one game. Now, this is one of the ones that has to happen in a, in a single game, but I don't think it'll be too terribly difficult because mass production, you draw two cards, you deal three damage to your hero, you shuffle two copies of this into your deck. So the more you play it, the more likely you are to draw it again. Um... You draw two cards and you shuffle two copies of this into your deck. So it kind of replaces two of your cards with itself back in the deck. And I guess the more that you play it, the more of your remaining deck is this. Uh, so you sort of like pack in and increase the density of these in your remaining deck. And you get the cards that are in your deck, that started in your deck, you get more of those. At the cost of three damage to yourself per. So if we want to play eight of these in a single game, that's 24 damage to ourself. So anytime that you can do this with a fell string harp or with a void virtuoso out, you're going to protect yourself from some of that. Because 24 damage to yourself in the course of a game is, is, is not nothing. I'm going to want plenty of lifesteal as well in this deck. But, um... Yeah, let's see what else it can come up with. Okay, we've got a partial excavate package. We've got the drill fists and the kobold miners and the smokestacks. Uh, so, you know, we can use that to get a single as your snake, but we're not trying to bounce the snake back and over and over and actually win the game that way. Uh, we've got plenty of uh, lifesteal. We've got the sunspot dragons and, like... Drain souls, we've got mortal eradications, could get some health back that way. Siphon souls, more health back. We really just, we got some frackings because we're likely to be able to get what we want out of the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, hopefully this, we, we really just want to stay alive long enough to cast eight of these. Nemzi versus Jaina. You asked for it. Not in my kitchen. We really just want the uh, mass productions first. We don't even necessarily want this before mass production because if we are at full health when we cast one, we actually sort of lose out on a little bit of the health regaining value. So. I'll go ahead and fracking immediately. Um. Wow. Having to discard two of my excavates may mean I never get the snake, but whatever. I guess we will still get the snake at some point. I think I do want to taunt immediately and kill that. Sweet 
that's me. Trying to figure Oh, I think I know. I can do this. And there's my first mass production finally, but now I can clear his shit. I just need to empty my hand a little bit, so let's do that. Let's do that and do our first mass production and even preserve the Felstring Harp that way. And sure, this will waste the two random frost spells I might get, but I, I want it out of my hand. I just want more of those, I think. I do need to kill that. And I need to cast something that'll work. And yeah, I better not tap. Okay. Well, I can do that. That. And that. And get three cards out of my hand.
think that's four. Yeah, that's four. One shot, one kill. That will just fill up my hand. That's five. You know what? Let me go ahead and do that real quick. And then see if I can get... So, I like this for it too, because I've got lots of mass productions in there. Six, seven, and I should only need to cast one more. No minions left. That's funny. And I even actually won the game, although they were playing an awfully basic deck for being at gold. Not sure what was going on there. But yeah, I don't think this is too hard. I think basically, as long as you're able to get it started, it'll be easier and easier to make sure you finish it and those... Gaslight Gatekeepers are a good way to get a bunch more into your hand once you've shuffled a few in. So, hopefully that helps. Have a good one.